There are various means of getting information. We talk to each other, watch television, surf the internet. But to get news on the Nichols community, there is one source trusted above all others, the Nichols Worth. The independent student newspaper has been around since NSU opened its doors. The role of the Nichols Worth is to provide the Nichols community with news about Nichols and the surrounding areas as well as being able to provide them with information on national and world issues as it relates to the Nichols community. Most people believe the paper has always been free and funded by student assessment fees. However, in the beginning, the Nichols Worth was sold commercially for a nickel, hence its name. So when did students start paying the newspaper fees? No one seems to know. Why doesn't ad revenue pay for the paper's full operations like regular newspapers? Advertising revenue only pays for the salaries of Ms. Daniels, her secretary, and maintenance operations. The newspaper fees pay student salaries and the printing of the paper. Today, students pay $6 in the fall and spring semesters and $3 in the summer session. Why are fees set as they are? Let's hit the rewind button back to 2001 when the fees were half their current costs. According to then Director of Student Publications, Nikki Boudreau, the financial health of the Nichols Worth was in dire shape and was understaffed. Regularly, money from the advertising account for the Nichols Worth was mm -hmm. having to be transferred to pay for, um, to supplement, I should say, mm -hmm. the student fees. And that advertising account had reached a point where it was at an all-time low. Most of the revenues that had been generated by the publication had already been transferred and used. Mm -hmm. um, and the publication was at a point where it was pretty close to being in the red, um, where we would have had no way to continue to cover our costs. Mm -hmm. The fee had not been increased in something like 25 years at that point. How did the paper decide to ask for the fees? It would be best to ask for an amount that we thought could sustain the paper for some period of time. We knew we'd never get an amount that would sustain the paper for another 20 years, mm -hmm. but we did want to ask for an amount that would be enough that we wouldn't have to go back to the students again within the course of you know just a couple of years so we did ask for an amount that we thought could sustain the paper over a, a relative period of time. According to the paper's financial records, doubling student fees has led to surpluses each academic year since its inception. So what happens to the extra revenues? It rolls over. So nothing is done, it doesn't go in this person in any of the upgrade equipment with that extra revenue? Oh, work. well yeah, I mean they yeah. use it for upgrading equipment, staff training, um, improvements in the actual, maybe the contract that they have with the courier. I'm not real sure exactly where that money's going today. It stays into the budget for future use. It stays in our budget account for future use. So it's just rolled over to next year? Yes, yes. Whatever we don't use this year is rolled over into next year. I asked if the continuous surpluses justify a reduction in student fees. No, it does not. Or I, I don't believe that it does. Why not? Now, students don't typically like to see their fees increased any more than they have to. Mm -hmm. So if we're constantly going to the student body every two or three years asking for a 50% increase, that's not being fiscally responsible. Mm -hmm. And they might be right. Consider that Congress plans to pass and the President said he will sign legislation increasing the minimum wage, which is what Nicholsworth staffers are paid, to seven twenty-five an hour over the next two years. Despite years of surpluses, no newspaper fee reduction is likely. Students may be able to live with that as long as the Nicholsworth remains a powerful voice for their concerns and an agent for improvements on campus. This is Keon Jeff reporting.